If you haven't seen Made for Love on HBO, then you are definitely missing out. The brand new show has taken TV screens all across the world by storm, and there's so many things about it that make it exciting to watch, and spookily relevant to today's society. Today we're going to take a close look into why you absolutely don't want to miss Made for Love. Made for Love debuted on HBO Max in April earlier this year, 2021. It is based off of a popular book by Alyssa Nutting. So far, there's only one book, but depending on the popularity and success of the TV show, Alyssa may decide to write more. The first season of the TV series has eight episodes, with the first three being available straight away upon being released. The episodes are all between 25 and 29 minutes long, which is enough time for a snappy, dark comedy to tell a good chapter of a story. Made for Love follows a young woman, Hazel, who decides she has had enough of a decade-long isolating marriage with her tech billionaire husband. Her husband, Byron Gogol, has developed a piece of technology which allows a couple's thoughts to be merged through a chip implanted in their brains. He markets this technology as a way of improving relationships for everything, allowing a couple to become closer than ever before. But in reality, he wants to use his technology to get power for himself, starting off with controlling every single tiny aspect of his wife's life. When Hazel discovers her husband's awful plan, she demands a divorce and manages to escape. But what she doesn't know is that through the relationship enhancing chip, her husband can track her location, watch her live, and even read her vital signs and emotions using receptors in her brain. Made for Love shows how Hazel overcomes being spied upon around the clock to regain her confidence in herself, and her desire to meet new people, reconnect with family, and make a life that is truly for herself. The story is told in a comedic, dark, and funny way, but the fact that the whole thing is the subject matter at hand here is pretty grim stuff. The idea of technology ultimately controlling our lives is a trope that has been used many times in movies and TV as we advance further in real life, and it's something that this show uses very well. Combining the gritty subject matter of domestic abuse and oppression with this creepy technological advance is a brilliant combination, and it's been received very well for it. Made for Love got an unusually high 94% review on Rotten Tomatoes, and critics on the site said, Made for Love's satirical riffs on technology are undeniably clever, but the most valuable special effects in this twisty odyssey are Kristen Milioti's charisma and comedic timing. With reviews like that, it's not hard to see why Made for Love got renewed for a second season, and fans everywhere are super excited to see what is next in store for Hazel after the events of season one. But who do we get to see on our screens in Made for Love? Well, Hazel Green Gogol is played by Kristen Milioti, who is undoubtedly a familiar face. She has a very successful career behind her in theater and live performances, and has also been appearing in movies and TV since 2006. Her most famous roles are in How I Met Your Mother, The Wolf of Wall Street, Black Mirror, and most recently, Palm Springs, alongside Andy Samberg. As we said a moment ago, Christy has been praised in Made for Love for her ability to bring moments of dark comedy to a gritty narrative, and her familiarity with the genre shows that it comes naturally to her. We also get to see Billy Magnuson, who plays her controlling, power-hungry husband, Byron Gogol. Billy has made many appearances in movies, TV shows, and live performances throughout his career, and you might recognize him from Black Mirror, No Time to Die, Ingrid Goes West, and Tell Me a Story. He also has had a role on The People vs. O.J. Simpson and American Crime Story, which was one of the most watched TV shows in 2016, so if you've been wondering where you'd seen Billy Magnuson's face before, that might be it. We really get to see Billy's dark side here, and he clearly enjoys stretching his acting muscles to play somebody so dark and despicable. The last big player in our main trinity of characters is Ray Romano, who plays Hazel's father, Herbert Green. Herbert has had an estranged relationship with his daughter, especially since she got married to Byron, and hasn't seen her a whole lot since her childhood. However, when she escapes her former home and her controlling husband, she has nowhere else to go but to find her father and seek shelter with him. In a massive contrast to the high-flying lifestyle she's used to, her dad is seen as the town's token crazy guy, as he is in a committed relationship with an artificial wife, or basically a big doll. It is definitely a culture shock for her to go from living in an enormous mansion with a pet dolphin to living in a downtown apartment with her weird dad and his pretend girlfriend. 
Herbert is masterfully played by Ray Romano, who has a wealth of experience working in television, particularly in the comedy genre. He is most famous for his leading role on Everybody Loves Raymond, a CBS sitcom that was drawn out over nine years and had 210 episodes. Ray also played this titular character, Raymond Barone, on a guest appearance on other CBS shows in the same universe, The King of Queens, The Nanny, Cosby, and Becker. His voice is also extremely distinct, and he he is recognized the world over for his leading role as Manny the Mammoth in the Ice Age movies. The famous series of family movies started back in 2002, with the most recent in the series coming out in 2016. Made for Love also stars Dan Bacadal, Noma Dumezweni, Augusto Aguilera, Caleb Foote, Patty Harrison, Raymond Lee, and Kim Whitley. Due to the amazing reviews and incredible popularity of the first season of Made for Love, HBO Max has renewed the show for a second season. As this only got revealed a couple of months ago in June 2021, it is unlikely we will find out more about a release date for some time. But if filming gets underway in the next couple months, we could see a release sometime late next year in 2022. We need to allow the creators enough time to write a script, film everything, and then complete post-production and editing. Made for Love might require quite a lot of post-production and editing work, as there are some visuals that can't be created using physical effects. The crazy few futuristic technology means there is a lot of CGI, and we know from other TV shows that this can take quite a long time to get right if it's going to look any good. It is definitely a long process, but taking the time to make a second season as good as the first one would be worth it. There hasn't been any confirmation as of yet regarding who exactly would be in the second season. We can expect the two leading roles to star once again, as their characters stay important throughout the whole of the first season. We would also expect Ray Romano to reprise his role as Herbert again, as his character is a key part of the ending of the show. No spoilers, but it's super important, so make sure you watch it. However, rumor has it that Ray Romano only signed his contract to do one season of the show, so it could be that he simply is happy to sign another contract with season two, as we can't imagine he would bail, bearing in mind how important his character would be for the second season. Considering there is only one book, there isn't enough source material to make the second season just from that single novel alone. So, Alyssa Nutting, the author, is staying on as a co-creator to help bring the story of season two to life. Not only is she staying on as a co-creator, but she is now going to also be a co-show runner, having a larger part in the story of the TV series. As well as having some dramatic episodes involving Hazel's father, we can expect to have some more focus on Byron as well. Showrunner Christina Lee revealed in an interview that she wants to delve more into his backstory to find out just why he is the way he is. Speaking on the subject, she said, I think that there are some questions, particularly with Byron, on how he is the way he is. People were asking, why doesn't he know who Willy Wonka is? Like, who is this guy? Is the Greg Benson thing real? And I will say that is something that we want to address in season two, among everything else. But that's one of the things for sure. Delving into Byron's backstory would definitely add yet another psychological level to this already gritty and relevant show. And we can't wait to see what Made for Love comes up with in the next part of this thrilling story.